what a time and age it is to be able to live in New York City and just go to the Met for a fucking dollar. Like, I hate America, but like, little things like this makes me happy. Also, vote, it's almost election time. I came here to be inspired, be motivated to think of ideas for future illustrations. I came upon this one painting that was so mesmerizing to me. I just kept walking around all over the mat trying to find something that was like just anything that wasn't Dutch paintings. I fucking hate Dutch paintings. But nonetheless, I was really gravitated by this composition and just the it really drew me in into the middle of the painting and I was like I want to be able to recreate this in my own way because again nothing's original anymore so you have to do what you can and make your own things out of whatever not plagiarism don't plagiarize but appropriation it's a it's a yeah you know nonetheless I've had a very fond interest in drawing fishies for the last two years and I wanted to maybe perhaps make a fish series of paintings. I've been getting back into gouache and I think going to the Met was a perfect opportunity to come up with more ideas and uh, just be engulfed by the, every fucking amazing painter and whatnot. Being inspired by these little things is fucking fantastic. And if you're not able to go to a museum because either you're broke, you don't have a car to drive to, it, or it, you just literally cannot because you don't live in a dope-ass city like New York City to do that, then I advise you to go outside, go to a cafe, go to a grocery store. I don't know where you're going to sit at a grocery store, though. Or go... Did I say outside? Go to the park if you're in warm weather. There are so many beautiful things you can get inspired from and just be so at awe with its beauty. I feel like in today's age, we're so glued to the TV. We're so glued to the camera, not the camera. We're so glued to our phones, our iPads. Like, and I'm, I am a culprit of this. I am a deep scroller and I hate it. And I've been trying to cut down on that. But going to the mat, going outside to the park, going outside like to in general, because I'm always cooked up in my my room drawing. It's I feel like it's a, it's a, a thing that's just getting lost as the generations go by. And some people are like, I don't know how to be inspired. I don't know how to get inspired. Go outside. If you can't afford an art book, go outside. If you literally can't do anything like online, that's like, you know, I think doing like figure drawings or drawing people IRL is much different than drawing something from quickposes.com or just like google or pinterest and i of course do that a lot i go on pinterest for references but it's just something having to the adrenaline of having to draw people so quickly and just quickly capture their essence their their persona into like one quick doodle is just amazing and i think i just want to go on here as I am right now and say to go outside if you didn't understand me the last 15 times I said it go outside and get a grasp of the beauty of the world I know the world is going through a lot right now all over and you know the things that we can do is look forward to the future and our own path especially since it may be a lot for others but nonetheless i think get inspired through reality rather through a phone or through a laptop or through an ipad or whatever the fuck you have try different things out because you would be amazed by what you would be able to create. My name is Karen. I'm an illustrator, obviously based in New York. And uh, thank you for hearing me ramble about, I don't even fucking know. I fucking, there was no script to this. I love you and see you next time.